Mary had no idea what to do with the Jesus placenta. <laughs> She couldn't just throw it away. This wet lump was divine. It fed the Son of God while he, sorry, he, <laughs> was inside her. She thought about Jesus in her head. Would she need to refer to him with a capital H? A little hand emerged from the manger, grasped at nothing and then dropped out of sight. Mary thought, a little hand. <laughs> she wrapped the placenta up in her shawl and turned away from Joe. She tried to sleep. Placenta? Three shepherds came. They must have thought there was shelter here or something to steal. <laughs> no, Mary. She knew she shouldn't think of shepherds like that. They weren't all thieves. But she kept, the, she kept the placenta hidden, just in case. <laughs> Joe told them about Jesus, did all those jittery hand movements, that flickering smile. The shepherds stared at the baby for a long time. At one point, one of them held a lamb up and wiggled its hoof in a wave. Mary said a little prayer. She hoped God was okay with the lamb thing. <laughs> Once they were gone, Joe said that they had said that they'd followed a star which led them here to see Jesus. His hands and smile were jittering and flickering all over the place. He noticed the placenta then. What are you going to do with it, he said. And Mary shrugged. And she prayed. She hoped God didn't mind about the shrug thing. A few days later, three kings shuffled in. They'd heard about the baby, the son of God. Is this him, said one. It's him, said Mary, but they didn't get what she meant. <laughs> the black one, <laughs> the black, there's always a black king, isn't there? Um, the black one picked Jesus up and held him high in the air. Mary gripped the placenta tightly. It was still wrapped in her shawl and had dried out and hardened. It had started to smell. <laughs> The smell of the divine, she thought. <laughs> Jesus behaved himself while he was aloft. He was a good child, she thought. He was always gentle on her nipple. <laughs> nipple, she thought. <laughs> no, just nipple, like normal. <laughs> you must come to our palace and celebrate, said one of the kings. Joe was quick to agree. At the palace, there was a lot of food and a lot of servants. Mary felt uncomfortable at the table and quickly lost her appetite. She went to the kitchen. There was a turkey in there, sat in the corner of the room, waiting to be beheaded and cooked. The servants watched and giggled as she shooed it out of the door. She heard the cries of Jesus a full five minutes before Joe found her. I think he wants you, said Joe, and she heard him emphasize the H. <laughs> Joe looked at her hands. Have you been cooking? Yes, she replied, looking at Jesus' tiny hands and his nose and his tears and the stitching in the hem of the robe the kings had made for him. <laughs> Just a few strips of turkey, you know, to say thanks. And then she prayed. She hoped God didn't mind about the turkey thing. Thanks. <laughs>